haven't turned in any of the at home works up to this point in time, make sure that you um, get those turned in. Okay, so F1, F2, F3, F4. F4 is the one that's due today. Make sure you get those turned in. And then um, we can get those back to you. Later on, when you guys are working on some stuff, then I'll hand you some stuff back. Okay. So today we're going to do F5, which is going to look a lot like yesterday's stuff, but just a little different, little tweaks going on with it. Um, and then tomorrow is going to be a formative, so we're going to have a formative in class tomorrow. And then, yeah, be on down the road with good stuff. Okay. So, on the warm-ups for today, we are in the note packet on F5. We got two warm-ups going on today. This right, whoa, whoa, tap the brakes. I forgot to do that one. There we go. Now we're all good. Okay. So, on, wait a second. There. So, this is our rule, our transformation rule. We had yesterday, right there. That's our rule. That's our rule. So what we're asking for in this warm up is I want you to take point A in the first one and point B in the second one, and I want you to transfer transformation it or transform it into A prime and B prime using those two different rules. Okay. Go ahead, I'll give you a minute and a half, 90 seconds. What does it say that we need to do to our X's? What's the transformation we're doing with our X value? Plus what? We're adding four, right? Okay, so we're adding four. So this tells me right here that we're adding four to our X value. Okay? So two plus four is six. Okay. So this is going to be the point six comma. What does it say we're doing with our y's? Subtracting five. So then I gotta subtract five on that. Three minus five is negative two. So then we got to, so a prime is at the point six comma negative two. A and we move. Okay. We call that A prime. Okay? With me on that? Okay? What are we doing with our X's in B? Somebody other than Adrian. What are we doing with, and for point B? What are we doing to our X's? We're doing nothing with the X's and we're doing what with the Y's? We're adding two. So we're just on this one, we are just adding two to the y's, okay? So the x is going to stay the same. Y is going to be have two added to it. So x is going to stay the same, so it's going to stay four. And negative five plus two is negative three. So it's four comma negative three. Did you? Oh, my gosh. Right. I heard it fall. But I thought it felt really good. Okay? With me? Today, what we're going to do is we're still going to have transformations on points, but now we're going to have algebraic transformations on points. Okay? So we're going to have a little, little bit different. We're not just going to be shifting it left, right, up, and down. Okay? So here is our rule. For the first transformation, we're going to actually take this P and we're going to move it two different times. Okay? So the first one says, what are we doing with our X values? We doing anything to our X's? Nope, they're staying the same. Okay? 
What are we doing to our y values? No, not minus 1, because it's not y minus 1. What are we doing to our y value? I would accept three different answers for what we're doing to our y values, because all three are the same. What do you got, Norm? We're making them the opposite. So if it's positive, we're making it negative. If it's negative, we're making it positive. That's one of them. I'll take two more for saying the same thing, just in a different way. What do you got? Multiplying it by negative 1 is the second one. I'll take a third one. You going to go for the trifecta? Multiplying by negative 1 is the same as dividing by negative 1. You can actually lose your voice. You don't have to whisper it. It's okay. Okay? All right? So in this one, what we're doing is we're keeping our x values all the same. And we're making the y value opposite, multiplying it by 1 or dividing it, or sorry, multiplying it by negative 1 or dividing it by negative. So those are the three things that we're doing. So a prime becomes negative 4 comma negative 1. Love it. B prime becomes what? What would B transform to be? Negative 4 comma negative 3. Do we all agree with negative 4 comma negative 3? Yep. C prime. Trin, what does C prime become? Well, our x's were staying the same, right? Okay, so what's the x value of C prime? Negative 4. Okay, what's the y value then? What are we doing for our y value? Remember there were three different ways we could say it? Multiply by negative 1, divide by negative 1, opposite. So what's the 5 is going to become? Say it louder, Jason Porter. She didn't hear you. One more time. It's going to become what? Negative 5. Because 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. Yeah, exactly. I guarantee you. Okay. I guarantee you. It's going to, the class is going to go much faster if you participate. You know what I mean? Okay. What about D prime? Somebody want to take D prime? You've already answered it enough. I'm done listening to that whole world. You more, you also too. Dylan, what's D prime going to become? X is going to stay the same. So what's it going to start out with? Negative 2. And what do we do to the y's? The three were opposite, multiply by negative 1, or divide by negative 1. Those were your three. So negative 5? Yeah, exactly. So our d prime here is going to become negative 2, comma, negative 5. Love it. Okay. E prime. Again with the shouting U2. What do you got, Tom? Negative 2, comma, negative 3. Now, the downfall, yesterday we talked about how you could, on the graph, you could literally just take each point and count to move the points. Geometrically was yesterday. Okay, So if you're shifting it left, right, up, or down, you can take the point and you can count that many and move it. With algebraic transformations, you don't get that option. You've got to fill the table in first and then go and plot the points. So now we've got to go plot A prime. Negative 4 would be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 to the left. Down 1, big dot, A prime. B prime would be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 to the left. Down 3. One, two, three, big dot, B prime. C prime, from the origin, four to the left, down five. D prime, two to the left, one and two, down five, all the way down. E 
E prime. Two to the left, three down. E. Okay. Then you got to connect the dots in the same way. Okay. So A was connected to B. B was connected to C, C was connected to D, D was connected to E, and E was connected to B. I'll give you the six. I don't know about the nine, though. Yeah, yeah. so I'm not going to go with 96. P6, I go with. So, yeah. 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 so in number two, our rule has changed now. Now what has our rule become? What's staying the same? What's changed? Let's do it. What's staying the same first? Y is staying the same. Okay? All right. So Ys are locked in. So comma one, comma three, comma five, comma five, comma three. That's locked in. What are we doing with our axes? Multiplying by negative one. Making it the opposite or dividing by negative one, right? So we're just changing the sign of the x value. So a becomes, or a prime, I should say, then would be located at positive four, comma one. Where would b prime be located? Somebody shout it out. B prime. Four comma three. I like that much better. C prime. Four comma five. D prime. What was that? Two comma five. Oops, I forgot the prime. And E prime. Two comma three. Now, really, what we should do is, even though we went to primes there, because we moved it a totally different. But if we were graphing this all on one, which we are, we would go double prime on all of those, but I'm not worried about that because it's just a second transformation. Okay? So four comma one, that's to the right four, one and two and three and four, and up one, so right there would be A prime. B prime would be right four, up three. C prime would be right four, up five. D prime would be right two up five. And E prime would be right two up And then again, A gets connected to B, B gets connected to C, C gets connected to D, D gets connected to E, and E gets connected to B. There now is your nine. Okay? Well, yeah. Well, is that a nine? Remember you were saying 96 before, and I said, no, it's a P and a 6. Now it's a P and a 9 and a 6. Huh? All right. So this last question, or this question number three, what do you think about the above transformation is better described as reflection? If I were to draw a line here, and that would be like the mirror. Oops, come on now. Okay. Then though that's a mirrored reflection, right? This point is the same distance away as that one and that one and so on and so forth. And it kind of looks like if I could take, you can do this on your paper. I've already paper. Thanks, buddy. Okay. So you could take your paper and you could bend it over. And as you see, when you bend it over like that. It's falling back in the same spot. It's becoming one. It's kind of like those. Did you when you were a young when you were in elementary school? Maybe you even do it now. Oh man, I thought the answer. When you take a piece of paper and you fold it a bunch of times, and then you cut out holes in that piece of paper, and then you unfold it, it's like a snowflake. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. That's kind of what this is. Okay. We took this piece of paper. We cut a P on one side. And when we unfolded it, now we got a nine. Okay. Or we got a six if we if we folded it along that line. Okay. 
So those would be reflections because they find them. We won't get them. Just yeah. So let's drop a little action. Now we're backside, so we're flipping the page. We'll do four together, and then I want you to do five on, on your own, and then we'll and then we'll come back and we'll do it again. Okay. So here's our rule. Talk to me about what our rule is telling us to do. What is our rule saying that we need to do with the x values? What do you got? Multiply by three. So now here's a here's another helpful way of doing it. So this is saying right here, we're going to multiply by three. So we're going to take all of our x values and we're going to multiply them by three. So put it right in there because then you know what you're doing with it. Okay? What does it say that we're going to do to our y values? We're going to add two to our y value. So this says right here plus 2 to our y values, so put a plus 2 right underneath it. Make it easy on yourself. Then you don't have to keep going back. What were we doing? What were we doing? What were we doing? Okay. Okay. So, where is A prime? We'll go in purple for A prime. 0, comma, 3. Because 0 times 3 is 0, 1 plus 2 is 3. So it's at the point 0, comma, 3. Okay. Where is the point B prime? 3, comma, 4. Okay. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 plus 2 is 4. 3, comma, 4. C prime. Where is C prime? 6 comma 3 says Nora. Do we all agree with 6 comma 3? Yeah, yeah. 2 times 3 is 6. 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay. D prime. 3 comma 2. That's 1 times 3 is 3. 0 plus 2 is 3. Now we can go and we can plot those points. Okay. So A prime is at the point 0, so I'm not going left or right. Oh, at all, up three. One, two, and three. Right there now is a prime. B prime. Three, count four. Right three, one, two, three, up four. One, two, three, and four. Prime. C prime. Six, comma, three. One, Six, one, two, three. C prime, right there. D prime, three, comma, two. Right three, one, two, three, up two. D prime. Then it said we connected A to B, B to C, and B to D. Questions, comments, concerns, clarifications. Okay. What I'd like you to do now is I would like you to do number five. Go for it. All right. So our rule says that our x values are going to stay the same. Okay? Because it just went x in. Our y values, we're going to multiply by one third. Or as I was walking around the room saying, multiplying by one third is the same as dividing by three. So I'm only going to be dividing by three on the y value. So penalty. A prime is going to be zero comma one. Three divided by three is one. B prime. It's going to be 1, 2, because 6 divided by 3 is 2. C prime is going to be 2, 1, 3 divided by 3 is 
1. And D prime is going to be 1, comma, 0, because 0 divided by 2 is 0. So A prime, 0, comma, 1 means I don't go left and right any, but I go up 1, put a point, label that point A prime. B prime, 1, comma, 2. Strike 1, up 2, label that point B prime. C prime, 2, comma, 1. Strike 2, up 1, label that point. D prime, 1, comma, 0. Oh, D prime actually stays the same as D, but I still got to label it as such. Then, our connection, A to B, B to C, B to D. There we go.